Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are unboxing The Game of Life. This is a board game I used to play as a kid all the time, but it was like the old 1960s version. Uh, they have updated it quite a bit. The board looks different than how I remember. So for those of you that are used to the old version and you want to know what this new version entails, that's why I'm kind of making this video. So here we go. The game of life. Spin to win. Your life, your way. Choose your own path. Take a spin and buckle up for twists, turns, and adventures all along the road. So it looks like uh, it's a lot more childlike, a lot more colorful than the original. It's contents. Game board with spinner, 90 cards, 55 action cards, 20 career cards, 11 house cards, 4 invest cards, 4 cars, 36 pegs, money pack, and instructions. It's made by Hasbro. Nice little thing with it. Very colorful pegs to play as the people. We've got gamers, we've got Hello Kitty girls, we've got, uh, yeah, everybody and anybody. The cars are pretty lackluster. There used to be a whole lot more, but... So you have four cars to choose for, a pink, green, yellow, or blue. Take a look. The new model. Okay. Let's take this whole thing out. Comes out as a section right here. They made this very, very detailed. More detailed than I think it should be, but it's a cool little touch. I guess they give you this little Ziploc bag for when you open up these bags and need a place to put all the pieces. Because you're not going to keep that bag. So, cool. And this board folds out like so which uh, I guess there is less reading on the spaces than I remember it's either house payday baby grow your family career uh, what other spaces on here we've got invest I think I read friend there is pet house pet stop retire early and the game goes on and on. There is a midlife crisis at one point. And we've got the instructions here. Object, move your car from start to retirement and experience all sorts of unexpected adventures. The player with the most money at the end of the game wins. To set it up, you got to slide the spinner securely onto the corner of the game board. Split the action, career, and house cards into three decks. Shuffle them and put them face down next to the board. You got to choose a banker. The banker's in charge of the bank's money. They can also give you a bank loan if you run out of money. Each player gets one car and matching invest card. One peg, any color, and one 100,000 to 50,000 and five $10,000 bills. Pop your peg into your car. Each player chooses their path, college path. You'll be more likely to get a better paying job, pay the bank 100K in tuition fees immediately, or you can go the career path. You'll get paid sooner. Take the top two career cards from the deck, choose your favorite, and place it face up in front of you. That's your job. Return the other card to the bottom of the deck. Career cards with a diploma are reserved for college grads only. If you draw one, you could only take the other non-degree job. If both cards are drawn to have diplomas, draw one additional card until you reach a profession that doesn't require a degree. Park at the start of the path you picked. So to play, the youngest player goes first and play moves to the left. On your turn, you spin and move that number of spaces along your path. If you reach a stop space, you must stop there instead, even if you have moves left. Where did you land? Check the board spaces section when you land on each space. Don't miss a payday. Collect your salary anytime you pass a payday space. And your turn ends and the player to your left spins. The stop space is here. When you come at a stop space, stop your car there, even if you have moves left. At each stop space, you'll come to a different life event. To spin to graduate, one to two, you failed your exams, turn ends. On your next turn, spin again to see if you pass. They didn't put a 
space in between 2 and C. Uh, if you spin on a 3 or above, you graduate it. Draw 4 career cards and choose which one to keep. Return the other 3 to the bottom of the deck. Your turn ends. Get married, pay the bank 50k for wedding expenses, and pop a peg into your car. Spin again to continue down your path. No, spin again and continue down your path without adding a peg. Grow your family. Yes, pop a peg into your car and pay the bank 50k. Raising a family is expensive. Spin again to continue down your path. No, spin again and continue down your path without adding a peg. Midlife spin out. Uh, they call it crisis there, but I don't know. Uh, let's see how you deal with getting older. Spin the spinner and check the center to see if your spin is red or black. Red, you're on the road to a midlife crisis. Black, life's good. Hop on that highway. Move the number of spaces you spun down your path. Retire early. Yes, spin again and head down the path to early retirement. No, not ready to quit yet. Spin again and head down this path. So here we got the board spaces on a payday space. If you pass a payday space, collect the salary on your career card from the bank. If you land on a payday space, collect your bonus salary instead. Action spaces, when you land here, take the top action card from the deck, read it aloud, and do what it says. If there are two options, you must choose one. Return the card to the bottom of the deck when you're done. On a friend space, you add a peg. Who will join you along the way? Add one peg of any color to your car at any time you land on a friend, pet, or baby space or two pegs if it's twins. House spaces, when you land here, you may choose to buy a house, sell a house, or do nothing. To buy a house, take the top two cards from the deck, choose your favorite, and pay the bank the purchase price. Return the card to the bottom of the deck. You may own more than one house. To sell a house, spin the spinner and check the center to see if your spin is red or black. Collect the sale price for that color as listed on the house card from the bank. Return the card to the bottom of the deck. Career spaces. When you land here, take the top card from the career deck, then choose to keep your current career or take the new one. Remember, career cards with a diploma are reserved for college grads only. If you draw one but didn't go to college, you must keep your current career. Invest spaces. When you land here, decide if you want to invest. You could earn money every time a player spins your investment's number, but it will cost you up front. Will your investment pay off? Don't want to risk it? Keep your money and stay where you are until your next turn. Want to invest? Pay 50k to the bank. Choose an investment number and place your invest card under that number on the game board with the values covered. You'll be invested for the rest of the game. The earlier in life you can buy in, the better. Every time a player, including yourself, spins your investment's number, bump up your investment card to display the next payout level and collect that amount from the bank. The first time your numbers spun, you get 10k. The second time, it's 20k, and so on. Once you hit 50k, you can continue to collect that amount. Okay, landed here again. If you've already invested, you could either bump up your invest card to the next payout level and collect that amount immediately, or use this opportunity to move your card to a different investment number at no charge. If you do this, you'll start at the first payout level at 10k again. Note, you may only invest in one number at a time. Players can't invest in the same number. Bank loans, the American dream. Take out a bank loan. If you don't have enough money to pay a debt or buy something, the banker gives you cash from the bank plus one bank loan certificate for every 50K you need to borrow. Pay the loan off at any time by returning each certificate to the bank along with 60K in cash. Any loans you have left at the end of the game will be taken off of your final cash count. Now winning, how do you win? Retirement. When you reach the retire space, park there and relax while you wait for everyone else to retire. Collect your retirement bonus from the bank. First to retire, you collect 200K. Second to retire, collect 100K. Third, collect 50K. And fourth, you collect 10K. You must still participate in other players' action cards and continue to collect investment payouts if your number gets spun. 
The end of the game. Once everyone has retired, everyone pays their debts and adds up their wealth by doing the following. One, sell your houses, spin and find out how much they're worth and collect cash from the bank. Two, collect 50k for each peg in your car, not including your own peg. Three, pay the bank 60k for each loan you have. Four, count your cash. The player with the most cash wins. If there is a tie, the player who retired first is the winner. Now, let's take a look at, uh, got the money pack here. All right, so there's what the 10K looks like. Is there anything printed on the back? Nope. Here are the bank loan certificates here. There is the 50K, 100K, and we've got the 500K. All right, cool. And here are the action cards. Here's the house cards. Best cards, you only get four. And here are the action cards that a lot of you will be using as you play this new version of life. Now let's take a look. We got simplify your life, sell all of your unnecessary things, blah, blah, blah. You need more, choose one option. Um, so there's, yeah, so many different things in here you could do. Invent new ice cream flavor, keep hustling. Start a band and take the show on the road. So there's that. Here are your investment cards for, here's your house. You can either get a beach hut, a cozy cottage, a houseboat, studio apartment, uh, that brings me back to my 20s. The Eco House, Suburban Home, Rustic Cabin, The Farmhouse, Ski Chalet, High Rise Penthouse, Dream Villa. Yeah, so there you go. Dream Villa. That looks good to me. And we got the careers fashion designer, actor, model, musician, social media influencer, athlete vlogger, teacher, police officer, chef, app developer, astronaut, accountant, pilot, veterinarian, politician, engineer, scientist, lawyer, doctor. We went through all of that. Now let's set up the board game. Oh, okay, you could tuck it in at the bottom, okay. So that's what you do. Ah, I see. I see. There we go. All right. Well, that's neat. That's cool. All right, everybody. That is the unboxing of the newest edition of the game called Life. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helped you out if you were trying to figure out the instructions or you were just curious to see what a new updated version of the Game of Life is. And uh, that's all for me. I will see you next time. Peace out.